Now it's turning on. All right? OK. So what I'd like to do is show you guys how to find the vertices and um, the vertices and the foci of this hyperbola. So to do this, what we need to make sure that we do all right, is figure out what format we're going to be using. Which format are we going to use? Now remember, for a hyperbola, it's always a squared minus b squared. Always for your denominator, it's always your a squared minus the b squared. So therefore, I know my a. If a squared equals 4, then a equals 2. If b squared equals 12, then b is going to equal um, 12 squared of 12, which would be 2 uh, square root of 3. Right? But we're not going to be concerned about b anyways, because they're not asking us for b. But anyways, so now we ne next thing we need to know is if my graph has my x coordinate over my a, does that tell me if it's vertical or horizontal? What is my transverse axis going to be? What are my openings going to be? Horizontal or vertical? Horizontal. Because it's always So if you guys remember, here's our equation for a horizontal hyperbola. Horizontal per hyperbolas always has your x over your a. So therefore, that is going to produce you. So now we know that, OK, this is a horizontal parabola. So what's important about that is I know that now if I find my center, and I'm just going to sketch these. You don't have to sketch this to do all this work. But I want to show you the center is going to be at 2 comma negative 1. So let's go to 2 comma negative 1. Now since we said it's horizontal, that means my vertices and my foci are all going to lie on our horizontal line, which we call the anybody? transverse axis. Very good. All right. So now what we need to do on this transverse axis is find our um, foci and centers. So ladies and gentlemen, we know this is our center. We know that the foci, Ryan, and the vertices all lie on this line. So if we know the center is h comma k, the vertices, remember the vertices is the distance of what from the center? Uh, Hazel. First letter in the alphabet. A. a. The distance from the center to your vertice is your length A. So our length A is what? 2. So therefore, remember we have we vertices to the right and to the left. Why is it to the right and left again? Because we determined from our equation that we have a horizontal hyperbola. All right? So therefore, I'm going to go over two more units to the right, and I'm going to go two units to the left. Now what I have just found out are my two vertices. Does that make sense, Kristen? Yes. OK. So you've figured out your two vertices. All right. The other way to look at this, ladies and gentlemen, when you have vertices that is horizontal, as long as it's horizontal, what did I really do? I took my center, and what I did is I added and subtracted my distance a. So if you guys just wanted to algebraically do this without actually drawing the graph, all I simply did is I added and subtracted a to my h coordinate of my center. Now to find the foci, the distance of the foci is going to be what from the center, Biori? Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's the third letter in the alphabet. C. C, right? And that's why we had you writing this down. So we need to figure out what C is. I know what A is. I know what B is. I do not know what C is. Now, there was an equation over there, which I showed you how you can relate to all three of them. So our equation goes C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So A squared is 4 plus B squared, which is 12, equals C squared. So C squared equals 16. C equals 4. So remember, as I spoke about this, for a horizontal hyperbola, your foci and vertices and center all lie in the same axis. So if here's my center, now the distance from, to my two foci is now 4. 
So I need to go 4 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I need to go 4 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. So now I've just determined what my two foci are. So what you can also understand is I'm really doing the same thing again. I'm taking my h and I'm adding and subtracting c to, from my h and my k. That's how we find the foci for a horizontal hyperbola. So now I just need to determine these points. So my vertices are going to be the points at uh, um, 0, negative 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 comma negative 1. And then my foci are going to be at negative 2, negative 1. And then at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 1. Oh, yeah, yeah.